Okay, this is to get you set up for tomorrow's lesson. That's the only purpose of this. Solve each equation. You're solving for x. So you make a wall on the x side. Um, the operation you have is a minus 7, so make it plus negative, and you got to take that to 0. So to take a negative to 0, you'd move forward, which means you'd add 7, and then add 7 here. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, x is on this side. Now there's no symbol between them. Up here there's a minus symbol. Here there's no symbol, so that's a times. You want to get in the habit of circling the times or dividing. Okay. So if you see times, you need to divide to solve it. Okay. So underline each side and put negative four. Okay. So negative divided by negative is a positive, and that would be 3. Okay. Okay, make the wall on the x side. Between the 8 and the x, you have a plus, so you don't have multiplication or division. You just need to take the negative 8 to a 0. So plus 8, plus 8. If you have times or division, you want to put it circling. So x, 15 plus 8 is 23. Okay, next problem. x is on this side. Okay, between the x and the 8, just look on the operations on that side. By operations, I mean plus, minus, times, divide. Between there, there's a division. I like to circle division like I do multiplication. But if I have division to solve it, I times. Okay. So I times each side by negative 4, because that gets rid of the divide by negative 4 times it. So you got x, 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. Okay, next problem, solving for x. So the x is over here. So negative 3 and x, there's a times, you want to circle that, and then plus 11. So you have two operations now you have to get rid of, okay? You take out the plus 11 first, you take that to 0. So I would minus 11, and then go over here and minus 11. So line up the equals. Negative 4 minus 11 is negative 15. negative 3 times x. Then we have times, so we need to divide. Divide, we underline the side, put negative 3, and divide by negative 3. Negative 15 divided by negative 3 is 5. Okay. You also want to get in the habit coming up tomorrow of putting x on the side it's already on. So here's the only x I have, it's over here. So there's a plus between those and a divide between those. Okay, so we have two numbers we have to take out. We take out the outside number first, taking it to zero by either plus or minus. So it's a negative six, so we would have to go forward, so plus six. So that takes that side to 11 and x divided by two. Now to solve a division, we times, okay? 11 times 2 is 22, okay? Okay, next one, negative 3x minus 7 plus 9x equals 24. Again, that's negative 3x minus 7 plus 9x equals 24. Now you got a little problem. There's two x's. Are they on the same side of the equals or on opposite sides? They're on the same side. If they are on the same side, you connect them with a V, okay, and add them together. You just plus them together as they are. Negative 3 plus 9, okay. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. And then you have the minus 7. Now you've simplified it. X is just over here be a times 6 and a minus 7. Make that a plus negative 7. 
So you take out the negative 7 by adding 7. 24 plus 7 gives you 31. Okay. And then 6 dot x. Then divide by 6. 31 divided by 6. Okay. Just put 5.16 repeating. Next one, 4x minus 7 equals 6x plus 13. So there are two different x's, but this time they're on opposite sides. So pick one of them. It doesn't matter which one. I'll pick this one, okay? It's a positive, so I take that out by adding or subtracting. I would subtract it from the 6x. And that's a negative 7 over there now. And that's going to be 2x plus 13. So now I have x, I have a single x. It's got a times 2 and a plus 13. So I highlight the times, but I have to take out the, the 13. I would minus 13. So negative 7 minus 13, negative 20. So divide by 2, divide by 2, negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. Okay, and I got 2 over here on this side, okay. 2x minus 4, and then we have a parenthesis with x plus 3 equals negative 14, okay? Well, here's what we have to do at the parentheses. We circle the plus. You can put a 1 there if you want, and put a times dot with the number there. If it's got a minus, it's a plus negative. Then I distribute across the plus. So I write negative 4 out twice, okay? And the first thing I times it by is 1x. And the second thing I multiply it by is 3. So it's going to be x, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and then negative 12. So you line that up, you drop your plus straight down, and you put negative 4x and 12. Now you cross that out, but you still got the 2x. Okay? I don't care where you plus it at, I usually do it where it's at. Okay, so the parentheses are gone. Now you have x's, they're on the same side, okay? So same side. When you have two different x's, you got to ask yourself, same side or opposite sides. If they're on the same side, you just make your V connection. Okay, so 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. If you're at 2 on a number line and you go backwards 4, you're at negative 2. Then plus 12. Okay. Now you're set up for a two-step. You got times and plus. So take out the plus. Negative 14 minus 12 is negative 26. Negative 2 dot x. Okay. Then you divide each side by negative 2. And that's 13. Now for the next thing. 3, you have another parentheses. Make that a plus negative so you have a times put a 1 in front of the x if you want. Or you can just take 3 times x times 1x or just x, it doesn't matter, and then negative 6. So that's 3x and negative 18. So over here I drop the plus and I have 3x and negative 18. Well, that goes away, and over here we have 7 minus 2x. If it has a minus in front of it, it's a negative. So now you have x's, but they're on opposite sides. So pick one to take out. I'll just take out the negative 2. How would you get that to 0? I'd add it. So plus 2x plus 2x. So that would be 5x. 
plus negative 18 equals 7. And now we have it simplified where I can make my wall. So 5 and x is times, that's sort of the operation there, you highlight that or circle it or something. And then the negative 18 is the number I have to get, is my plus number. So I got to take that to 0. So if it's a negative 18, that would be forward 18, which on a number line means plus 18. So it's 25. Now divide each side by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay. Now pause the video, please. Pause it and go do the aspect in the back of this assignment. Do 1 through 10. Okay, 1 through 10. Okay, now that we're back, we can go over some fraction problems. There's not, they're not assigned. I didn't put any on the assignment like this, but yeah, here we go. X is over here, okay? You have plus and you have this fraction that's times. So you take out your 6 by minusing 6, it's positive, minus 6 here. And that would take that side to negative 18. And then we got 3 fourths times x. Then we're going to come over here and divide by 3 fourths. Okay. Now x will be by itself over here. Now to take negative 18 divided by 3 fourths, if you remember that, you put a 1, and then you keep it negative 18 over 1, you switch the division to times, and then make it 4 over 3. Then you times the tops, so that would be negative 72, and times the bottoms, 1 times 3 is 3, then divide those, and you get negative 24. So there's your answer. Okay. Let's do another one. So times make the minus plus negative. So you take out the negative 7 by adding it because you're trying to get it to, from negative 7 to 0, which is forward. So that's adding. That's negative 15. So you got 5 eighths times x. Okay. Now times you're still going to divide. Just got to have that darn fraction. And so you're going to write negative 15 divided by 5 eighths. So put a 1 under that. Switch it to 8 over 5. So negative 15 times 8 is negative 120. And then 1 times 5 is 5. Now I divide those and that's going to take me to my solution negative 24 again, okay? Okay, next one, 5 minus 1 third x equals negative 15. So the x is here. I don't like that minus, make it plus negative and put your times there. You do have times, it's just by a fraction. So you take out your 5 by subtracting. Negative 15 minus 5 is negative 20. Okay. Then you divide by negative 1 third. So you put negative 20 divided by negative 1 third. So it's ne put a 1 under it. Okay. Make it times and then you flip the second fraction to 3 over negative 1. So negative 20 times 3 is negative 60. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then I divide those and it's 60. Okay. Okay, next one. It's even harder. Okay. 1 third plus, put the times dot right there. So it's going to be 4 6. So we take out one third by minusing one third. Two 
two thirds minus one third. You can do you can use the ABC key. That's fine. It's one third. Two minus one's one, and if the bottoms match, it's one third. Okay. Now you divide. Okay. By four over six. Okay, so 1 over 3 divided by 4 over 6. So we keep that the same. We flip that to 6 over 4. And 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. 6 divided by 12 is 0 0.5, which is also 1 half. Okay. okay next up. These are kind of easy. Okay. okay, so you got a times, so you highlight the times. Now you don't have any you don't have any other number but the times number. Times is the only operation you have in the problem. You don't have a plus that you have to get rid of, so you go straight into your dividing by one over two. So it would be eight divided by one half. So let's put a one over the eight, under the eight. So it's eight over one times two over one, which is 16 over one, and that's 16, okay? Oh. Okay, between this and the X would be a times operation, and times is the only operation I have, so I go straight for my dividing. By negative three fourths now x. So we have nine divided by negative three fourths. So that would be nine over one times four over negative three. So that gives me thirty six on top. One times negative three is negative three. Then you divide thirty six by negative three. That's negative twelve. That's how you divide fractions. Next one, negative 12 sevenths x equals 48. So, so you got times, so you're going to divide, okay, by negative 12 over 7. So, 48 divided by negative 12 over 7. So I put a 1 under the 48. So 48 over 1 times 7 over negative 12. So 48 times 7 is 336. 1 times negative 12 is negative 12. Divide, and I got negative 28. Okay, next one, times is here, but it's an entire fraction that it's times by. There's no plus outside, so you don't have to add or subtract. You just solve it times by dividing by 5 over 4, okay? So that would be negative 15 over 1 times, and then f or divided by to start with. And then 5 over 4. Then you flip the bottom fraction to 4 over 5 so you can actually multiply. So negative 15 times 4 is negative 60. 1 times 5 is 5. Then divide those and you get negative 12. Okay, one last one. Okay, we got two x's. They're on opposite sides, okay? So let's pick one. I'm going to pick the one-third. So it's positive, so you take that out by minusing one-third x under the two-thirds x. So you have three. Guys, when you're minusing and adding fractions, if the bottoms are matched, that's good. Then you just take two minus one, that's one. Two-thirds minus one-third is one-third. Two minus one is one, and just be stay over three. x, and then minus five. So we have times, highlight the times, and then my plus negative 5. Okay. 
Well, you do have a plus number you got to take to zero. So you got to take negative 5 to zero. You'd add 5 to the 3. So we take it to 8. Then you divide. Okay. By one third. So we take 8 divided by one third. Well, we put a 1 under the 8, and it's 8 over 1 times 3 over 1, which is 24 over 1, which is 24. Okay. Okay, there's no assigned problems with those fractions. Just thought I'd go over it to 